Hey everyone, it's Jenny Garcia from EarthyScrap.blogspot.com and EarthyScrap on Facebook. And in this video, I'll be using one of the Project Life kits that I put together. This one has a bunch of Deary Lizzie cards. It has some of Polka Dot Party, and I believe it has a few Neapolitan ones too, but I'm not completely sure. And this kit does not have a 6x6 six six paper pad but I added a bunch of 4x6 cards so that helped out a lot and I also have an insert for my daughter's ninth birthday so the, the last few videos I posted I think all of them have an insert and that is why they're a little bit longer because they are more pages I can do single 12x12 12 12. it's really hard for me since I like to look at the whole thing so I hope that's okay or you know you can watch half of the video and then watch another half later and in this kit I have some chipboards from Studio Calico that I just really wanted to use and I also have a few goodies from Freckle Fawn and for the title I didn't want to add stickers from my stash so I use these alphas from um, simple stories and I didn't have too many die cuts in this kit too but I just figure that I have a big box of die cuts from citrus twist every time the month ends I just put all the die cuts in there so I'm gonna use those die cuts to I'm gonna use them whenever I use one of these kits that's that's gonna be my like, the one thing that I can bring those and thickers if I need those to you know write my title card or anything else but that's my little way of cheating but not really because the purpose of these kits is to use my stash and to use things that sometimes I love them and I want to use them but since they're in a the drawer I kind of forget about them and I wish I used that ampersand now that I looked at it in the video it actually worked I don't remember why I didn't want to use it and I also have those felt flowers from Freckle Fawn and I only have two of those so in this kit I also put you know some items that I only have a few things to use from the pack or the sticker sheet and I just wanted to use and at the Scrap Girls Facebook group, Tracy posted a video the other day of Sean West. And he was talking about having freedom, but that you also need some boundaries to push you creatively. And I think that that is very true. These kits do help a lot. They cut down my time a lot because that way I don't just go looking through my whole stash I know that I have to stick to those in uh, to those items that are in this little baggies and it really helps out a lot and since my problem was not having enough die cuts as I mentioned in my last video I'm just gonna use that box of die cuts from citrus twist and I'm pretty sure that will help a lot and those stickers are from a beautiful mess and I love them, but I didn't really have the chance to use them yet. I also, the stamp that I use, Cool, is an old, uh, an old one from Studio Calico. And I've done that technique a lot, you know, just fill the background. And uh, when I was shopping for a candle, I couldn't find a bigger one and I was a little bit disappointed. But once we sang happy birthday, I was like, hey, I can put this in a little shaker pocket and it will look good. And actually, it did work out really well. I also used some sequins from Pretty Little Studio. Some are from my stash. I have Martha Stewart. And I also used the blue ones are from, oh my god, Taylor, Taylor Expressions. I didn't use glitter on this one and I just wanted to use the colors of the kit that I have and I wanted to use a little bit of dark blue but they would have been so I don't know they would it would 
It would be like out of place, so much pastel and then a few blues. And of course I use my fuse tool to seal them out. Make sure if you have a fuse tool and you haven't used it, play with it. It's so much fun and it's so cool. You don't have to use that on um, pocket pages, but you know, you can make shaker pockets for a card or something like this and it's a lot of fun. So I like to keep tags of items my daughter got for her birthday. She got a really obnoxious but beautiful machine that sings and that was the the little tag that came with it and I used these um, paper clips from Freckle Fawn to hold them together but then I'm gonna add and I'm gonna do it I think I did it before I took the photos for this layout I'm just gonna add a little bit of washi to keep it together and since I was missing a few die cuts I'm gonna use these stamps from Studio Calico and I'm gonna stamp them on paper and cut them out and I love these stamp I, I wish I, I know that Kelly Perky had one like this that was kind of like that magnetic poetry kind of thing but it always is sold out I never could find one but it would have been cool to have something like that in my stash like I need more stamps but it would be a cool thing to have and I also use that it's not in the kit those little puffy hearts there from Walmart and this card is super simple I just wanted to show the tags in the QR code which is just a video of us singing happy birthday to my daughter and then I realized that I probably had more space on the right but I couldn't peel it off so I just stuck with my original plan and I also have some hexagons from Studio Calico I believe they came in a kit or something like that but I didn't I put a sheet of those in this kit so I really wanted to use them and I'm also gonna stamp the date on this card and I use an eraser for the letters that I haven't used before so they stamp a little bit better the other day I, I think I ignored that rule that I normally do and it didn't stamp that well and I was like you see it does make a difference and I used the messy box ink and I love that that ink from a beautiful mess and they don't sell them anymore but the Studio Calico uh, pigment I believe is let me, let me double check so you can if you're premium dye ink if you're in the market for some inks they are awesome for photos and they dry pretty fast and I really like them and also these DIY kits since they don't have that many um, die cuts as I wanted I'm using my stamps a lot and I do like that and I wrote family in there with get ready for this October afternoon alphas yes I still have some and they are amazing and I might cry when I run, run out of those um, alphas so I wrote family there because we live far away from our families so we had our phones and our tablet and our family was like via FaceTime and it was kind of funny but you do <laughs> what you do with what you have it would be awesome to have my whole family here, but I'm too far away. And I have those label stickers there also from Simple Stories. By the way, the new, well, they haven't announced the whole thing yet. The new um, Simple Stories unicorn line, it looks so cute. I might break my nose pen for that because I really like it. And I'm using my Tumbo Twin Tones to write down my journaling. And some more little puffy hearts. And I love how my daughter is peeking under my husband's arm, just watching him light the candle. And I almost didn't take this picture with the door open, 
because my daughter had a huge mess in there but you know what that's part of the story she's incredibly messy she is i don't know like she could clean her room now and 10 minutes later it looked like a hurricane went through it so it's part of the story i always put either balloons or something or i write a little message in their bathroom with dry erase marker so this year i just put a banner on her room and a bunch of balloons which ended up all over the house and i thought because i got them in the dollar store they would like pop in a second if they didn't i still have a few of those there 16 days after so that's that backfire and i also use my um felt hearts and i really wanted to put there something there but i had no idea what to do my daughters and i did a few makeovers if you follow me on instagram probably you saw the insta story and yeah my daughter should post a video because it was so glamorous i had blush and the whole side of my face and i'm using the tumbo fudanosuke calligraphy pen to write makeover day and some days i am not feeling one letter the way i normally do it so i practice others i don't know it's a weird thing that i do so they did my makeup and i did theirs and my daughter told me that she wanted like a rockstar kind of look and i look like a hot mess <laughs> but we had fun and this is a photo i took at one morning we went to have a second heavier breakfast after my daughter's t-ball game she's like me she doesn't like to like wake up and eat especially heavy things so she eats light before her games and then we eat either at home but this day we went out so and i don't i am liking writing my journaling on photos but I don't know sometimes I like it sometimes I don't and I use a lawn fawn dye to cut this uh, photo out cut a circle around my daughter and I cut some of the th uh, the 3x4 cards from Dear Lizzie into 3x3s so I could fill up some of the spaces in the 3x3 side of the paper And those my mind's eye stickers are so old they're like from 2013 or 2014 they're so old but I still love them they're still sticky they're they still work and I really wanted to use them so that is why I added those to my kit and I wanted to stamp right on the cake and look it looks pretty good I was afraid to put too much ink in it because sometimes you put too much ink in a stamp and it smears and it looks bad so i kind of like how it looks and it says hip hip parade that is the cake i made i had no idea well it's a nutella cake but it was heavy it's the heaviest cake i ever made it was delicious though and i put a clock in there because it w this was in the morning and my daughter just was riding her skateboard to the bus stop and these alpha stamps are from Ellie studio and I really like them and I'm just gonna ride home because that was my little one running toward the home base t-ball is hilarious if you've never been to a game if someone invites you and you're like eh, i don't want to go you should go it's hilarious it's i would see that televised on tv like every other sport it's stupid next to t-ball and now i'm putting numbers on some of the photos so i can take 
one or two cards and write all my journaling on it. It's gonna be two cards now that I remember. And then I also wanted to add one of those vellum freight stickers. And again, I'm using my Tombow Twin Tones to write my journaling. And you can't really see it either on the photos or in the videos, but in person it looks really well, so I don't know why it's that light. But I love it because you get to add a little color, but the really fine tip lets you write like really smoothly. I love it. If you haven't tried it, you should. I feel like we always do the journaling in black and sometimes, you know, we need to play a little. And in this kit, I have a very skinny washi that is just yellow. It's not, it doesn't have a special um, pattern. It's just yellow. And these are my two journaling cards. And again, a really long video, but you have the two pages and the insert. And I love inserts, I need to chill with the photo taken, but I really like them, so I'm gonna keep on doing them. But I did run out of um, those 3x3 page protectors from October afternoon, so no more of those, and I'm sad. But I really love that insert, and I love the photos that I took, and I might add one of those Avery circles thingies because sometimes it's they come out of the pocket and it's kind of a pain in the booty and I like how that card turned out too with the label and the journaling and that little tab just lets me know that I need to get since I don't do it chronologically I have it I have pages that are random and that I have like five spreads done and then one that I can deal with it right now because nothing comes to my mind but you know I'm so sorry I'm sick well I'm not sick I'm just allergies you know and yeah so I have that so I know that I need to come back and work on this layout once I'm done I take it off like I did and I do have a flip pocket there but it's just uh, photos of my daughter's t-ball team and I don't want to show those because I haven't asked permission and I didn't do anything to them really but I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it give it a thumbs up that lets me know that you are liking this DIY um, kits project life kits and so I hope you enjoyed it I hope you're having a good weekend long weekend if you are in the united states it's memorial day so thank you so much for watching have an awesome day bye